Okay, um, a very good morning to my fellow friends and I'm Chihau, Justin and our, um, our cameraman, uh, Katun. And we are here today to explain you about the optical fiber and how the light is transmitted inside the optical fiber. Okay, uh, okay. how the light is propagation in the fiber. So now we will see the explanation of the structure by the Chihau first. Okay, so uh, firstly I will start to uh, explain the structure of optical fiber. And yeah, and I'll let you have a look at the picture. Okay, so this is uh, what optical fiber. Okay, and yeah, so um, firstly we have the core, the most inner part, the core, cladding, and and then the jacket. Jacket, cladding, core. Okay, the main function of jacket is to protect protect the whole fiber fiber okay and then the cladding um we can say that the main um, yeah the main function of the cladding, cladding is to ensure that the light is able to transmit throughout the optical fiber yeah so <coughs> um from the theory view the in the refractive index Defective index, index of the cladding must be um, lower than the core. Cladding must be lower than the refractive index of the core. Okay. <coughs> um. Yeah. And instead of that, um, uh, yeah, the light ray is um totally should be totally trans propagate or transmit in the core but not in the cladding or anywhere else okay um yeah and to to achieve that we have a, a factor called the acceptance angle acceptance angle is is an angle which ensure the incident incident light which, which is the light that um carries the information to be guided by the core to our Okay. So now, um, I would like to ask Justin to continue. Okay. Okay. Uh, for me, I will explain the uh, occurrence of mm -hmm. light propagation, like occurrence of light propagation, yeah, which occur in the part of in in the core part. So I will draw the two boundary. Okay. This is the normal, and. N2 and N1. N1 is the refractive index uh, inside the core, whereas N2 is the refractive index outside of the core, which is uh, in the cladding part. So, okay, what is what is mean by incident 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 angle is the angle in which the incident ray is transmitted. For example, this is the incident angle, and Refracted angle or the transmitted angle is the angle after it passes the angle refracted after it passes to the boundary between two medium. So yeah, this is the uh, refracted angle, and this is the incident angle. So okay, the. Okay, the transmitted angle can be categorized, uh, can be divided into either it's refracted or, or refracted. So, so when the incident angle is occurred at a point, uh, when the incident angle is occurred at a point that when the refracted angle is equal to 90 degree, which the right angle is called the critical angle. In which the refracted angle is equal to 90, and this is what we call as critical angle. So after that, when the when we increase some more the critical, uh, sorry, the incident angle, when it is when the critical, uh, sorry, when the incident angle is greater than the critical angle, total the internal refraction 
will occur and this is how it occurs in the optical fiber okay so now i will pass to cartoon to proceed with the uh, propagation part okay um, so now um, yeah. let us see who is cartoon okay, yes yeah. i'm cartoon and now okay. i'm going to present how to how actually the light is propagation in the fiber so let's say this is a core of the optical fiber So by applying the concept of uh, total in internal reflection light, so the light will be reflected like this. Yes. Okay. And then you can see the normal light is actually like that. This is the normal, normal line. And you can see the uh, angle of incident is over here. Angle of incident and then the uh, angle of reflection. So after it reflects again, it will show another angle of incident and another for angle of reflection. And the situation will be go on until here. So the, which means that the light will not the data will, will not be losses to the other medium by applying the total inflection uh, concept concept inside the Fiber optic. So this is an overall creation by us on how actually the light can be propagation in the fiber optic. Mm. Okay. So we'll end our discussion here and thank you very much for watching here. Thank you.